All right, so air compressor. Let's see if you can focus. It's pretty soaked. The side and we got uh, air tanks. The valves are soaked. Air dryer. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually drips coming out of it. So whenever you have that, you want to definitely change the air dryer. So I'm gonna kind of get this shit out of the way. Steering power steering reservoir just so we can access it better and then I'll, I'll bring you back when we're close okay so we got the steering shaft out just one bolt slides off and then you can pull it out of the shaft um, power steering reservoir so you want to do while you're doing all this is drain the coolant also which is over here on Let's see if I can, it's on the passenger side, just a little petcock. Oh, I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's right there on the passenger side bottom. So you drain that. And then next, you got a couple hoses. You got, you take, let's see, the air governor off. You got two bolts. That comes off, clamps, hose there, and then down here, you got the power steering pump. You got two bolts, that slides back. It runs off a shaft, I'll show you on the newer one. So you got the new one, you got in the back, you got two bolts. That's even darker. You get there and there it just slides right in bolts it down so we'll start taking that stuff apart anything in the way the access and then you got also two bolts that hold this main thing in right here both there and both there so okay so we got it all unbolted there's two 15 millimeter bolts way down, you know, way down there, that bolt to the block. You got two 15 millimeter bolts that go through the front cover that bolt to that. Um, any sensors that might be in the way, you want to take them out. Like this oil sensor right there, you just don't want to break them by mistake. And this is just slide out. Uh, if you see the power steering pump was pulled out and I laid it down there. So let me get that out. So she's out, a little oily, I'll clean that up. You can see the bracket in the back. It just goes to those two bolts and those two that go right through to the block. So now we're just gonna swap everything over from there to the new one. And I like using this Loctite 592 thread sealer. I find that better than the like, the other cheap stuff. That you can buy all right so you got the gear drive they you gotta remove and put on the new one they usually don't just slide right out you gotta, gotta press them and you get a little bit of some love taps it's gonna be careful they don't break it
uh, usually, usually come off a little easier than this, but you're always going to have a stubborn one. So this is kind of being a bitch. So let's see. What... came off, I almost took my finger off, and of course, I wasn't recording it, but it's freaking, had the pressure up high, just tapped it, but she's off, so, take her, put on the, the new one, and torque it down, I like to use blue Loctite on this stuff, on the threads. Uh. All right, so we got the fitting swapped around. Make sure you do each fitting one at a time so you can remember which way it was addressed. The back bracket back on. Don't forget to put the O-ring on the back for the power steering pump and the gasket on the front. And when you tighten it down, tighten the front cover bolts first, and then the rear bracket. And a little trick that I do to help get these lined up, I have the, a bolt that goes through it. And what I'll do is I'll put it in, and this will slide through the front cover. And then once I get the bottom one in, I can unscrew it through the front cover and pull it out so it lines right up. So, we'll get that all back together, and then we'll do the startup. Alright, so it's all back together. And you can, I just noticed also, see the brake valve? It's nothing but oil dripping. It's all soaked. So, it's another indication that the air compressor is worn out, pushing oil. Power steering's topped off, coolant's topped off. Start her up. Talk to the customer he wants me to check out the skid steer over there you know it needs an engine head gasket it's gone the guys ran it when they weren't supposed to now this does nothing go over there check out the engine what number it is i can't remember so i know this is kubota i think it's uh it was a v20 
203 or 2003T.